It's no secret that the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is the fastest CPU not only from AMD but also in the entire market for gaming. So if you are looking to buy a gaming PC alongside this fast AMD CPU, this is the perfect video for you because I will show you the best value gaming PC build alongside this CPU and I will also show you different alternatives for around the same price and I'll also show you potential upgrades. You will see the level of performance that you can get with this PC and also with the alternatives in case you want to buy this exact system which will be linked down below in the video description. My name is Valentino and with that being said, let's start. So first we will start talking about the best value PC with this 7800X3D where of course we have this CPU and then for the CPU cooler I went with the Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin SE. This one is a $30 cooler that's going to be amazing for this Ryzen 7. Then for the motherboard I went with the Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite AX. This motherboard will allow you to upgrade to future CPUs without having to change the entire motherboard. And in my opinion this one is the best one in terms of price or performance because you can upgrade up to more beefy CPUs like the Ryzen 9 7950X if you want because the VRMs are great which means that you are not going to be limiting your CPU performance even if it requires more cooling. Then for the memory kit I went with a super fast 32 gigs of RAM kit of 6000 MHz CL30 timings which is the sweet spot for gaming and 32 gigs of RAM is ideal nowadays for gaming. 16 gigs of RAM can be fine in most games but some of them require more than 16 gigs of RAM and if you want to do streaming, content creation on the side and those type of tasks having 32 gigs of RAM is actually going to be a life saver for you. Then I went with a 1TB Gen 3 SSD that you can upgrade down the line if you ever need more storage. Then for the graphics card I went with the AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE. In my opinion this is one of the best graphics cards in the entire market when it comes to price or performance especially when it comes to 1440p resolution so if you want to play at 1440p no compromises ultra settings with no FPS drops this graphics card is perfect and the price is actually very decent at around 530 bucks. Sometimes it's a bit more expensive, sometimes it's slightly cheaper. So if you want to check the latest pricing and availability, remember that you will have every component mentioned down in the description. And if you are wondering about the level of performance that you can get for gaming with this graphics card, well, in a test from Tech Power App, which is a very reliable source on ultra settings in different games, at 1440p high to ultra settings, the 7900G RE was able to average around 120 FPS, which is an amazing number. And it means that you will have a very smooth experience, even in the most high demanding titles. And yes, sure, in a game like The Last of Us Part 1, you will not achieve an average of 120 FPS on ultra settings because that's a very high demanding title. But across different type of games at 1440p, you will be reaching around 120 FPS on average. And if we are talking about esports shooters, then you can expect well over 360 plus FPS on average in competitive settings at 1440p or 1080p resolution if you want to play those type of games. So feel free to buy a high refresh rate monitor for 1080p, 1440p or 4K if you want to play at that resolution. Which by the way, in this same test from Tech Power Up, but this time at a higher resolution, meaning that you are playing at 4K on the high to ultra preset, it was able to average 68 FPS. So you can expect 60 plus FPS on average. This is native resolution. So if you turn on FSR, which is the upscaler from AMD, you can expect closer to 70 all the way up to 90 plus FPS on average, depending on the exact game that you're playing and depending on the settings. So as you can see, this CPU and GPU combo can handle any game at 1440p and of course you can use this system for 1080p I think that is going to be an overkill and you will be overspending your money but if you want to play at 1080p and achieve very high FPS feel free to do so with this system and maybe eventually upgrade down the line to 1440p or 4k and then for the case you get the Fantex XT Pro Ultra which in my opinion is one of the best price to performance cases in the entire market because it has four print style RGB fans from mesh panel amazing airflow overall so big thumbs up for this case. And last but not least, we have the power supply in the V Quiet Pure Power 12M 850 watt power supply. Now, you definitely do not need 850 watts for this system, but it is nice to have in case you want to upgrade components 
in the future and also considering that this particular unit is a tier rated meaning that is the best quality out there and it's only about 10 to 20 dollars more expensive than 750 watt units which makes it a no-brainer and the total price for this value system is 1415 dollars but i want to tell you that if you want the best gaming performance overall i recommend you a different cpu and gpu combo and that cpu and gpu combo is the ryzen 5 7600 alongside a faster graphics card in the rx 7900 xt having a slightly slower cpu and a faster gpu is going to be beneficial in most games especially at 1440p and 4k resolution you will be achieving higher fps and don't worry because the ryzen 5 7600 will not be bottlenecking the rx 7900 xt in one of the latest tests from hardware and box they tested a faster graphics card with a slightly slower cpu and they put it against a faster cpu with a slightly slower graphics card and for the most part for almost every game when you have a faster graphics card you are going to be achieving higher fps this is the case for call of duty warzone the last of us part one and almost every test in this video and even at 1080p resolution which is quite surprising for some people the only time where i would recommend you having the 7800 xt with a slower graphics graphics card like the 7900 GRE is if you want to play esports shooters at 1080p competitive settings. In that case, having the faster CPU is going to give you an advantage even at 1440p for Fortnite or for example CS2 at 1080p resolution because at 1440p having the faster graphics card is still the best option. So if you want to play those esports games at 1080p and you want to have a high refresh rate monitor, then having the 7800 X3D with the slower graphics card makes sense. But other than that, for most games and for most people, if you are going to be playing at 1440p or 4K, going with the 7900 XD and the Ryzen 5 7600 will allow you to achieve higher frame rates. And instead of achieving around 120 FPS on average in those games I've mentioned before, you are going to be averaging around 140 FPS, which is about 17% faster gaming performance on average and almost 20% faster when it comes to 4K resolution. So if you want to achieve the highest FPS for the price, just get the alternative. It is the same price in the end, it's going to be around 1410 bucks. And remember, you will have it down in the description. And then if you have more money to spend, then the potential upgrade is to get the fastest CPU and the fastest GPU. In that case, you will be getting the best from both worlds. Here you will get the 7800 XD and the 7900 XT graphics card. And in that case, the price is going to be higher at around $1,575. But if you have more money to spend, this is an amazing upgrade. If you have even more money and you want to have an NVIDIA graphics card, go for the 4070 Ti Super GPU, which is going to give you about the same performance as the 7900 XT, but you get all of the NVIDIA technologies, such as a better level of ray tracing. If you are interested in that, you get DLSS, which is usually the better upscaler, even though FSR 3.1 is improved but you cannot use it in every game if you must have a media and you also want to do something like content creation then the 4070 ti super is going to be your best option but it is going to be around 100 dollars more expensive so instead of spending 1575 dollars you are going to be spending around 1675 bucks and if you need personal PC help and you want me to help you out with your specific budget and needs, you will be having my help in the top link in the description. And if you have a different budget, let's say you want to buy a PC build for around $2,000 or maybe you have less money and you are looking to spend around $1,200 or maybe $1,000, then I highly recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PC builds of the month for every budget and every resolution. That video will be in the top right of the screen. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next one.